Okay, so hello and welcome to my Half-Life 2 level. Hopefully by now you've watched the other video, so uh, you've seen a bit of how the level plays and this one's going to be a little bit more to explain about the level and uh, what goes into it and how everything works. Okay, so first up, you have to drive up this river to so avoid all the big logs and uh, just put some sheets on here so that I can show you a little bit better what goes off. Okay, so you head up here and obviously you're a bit blinded by the sun and you get a surprise attack by all these guys. So obviously they're just sitting around minding their own business at the moment, they've got no target on, but normally they'd be there killing you, shooting you, and all that jazz. So just finish off these guys. Uh, I don't want to go in. And obviously all these combine have got long shoot and long visibility enabled, so you know, they can actually shoot you as you come up the river. Okay, um, over here we have the first physics objective, so quite a bit goes off here, the roof is a physics box, these two beams are prop break walls, this is set to explode with a load of fire um, after a while when it's damaged, and the car has a trigger push box which flies it into the roof, you know, as the car's exploded as well, so there's a few little explosions that go on there, a few little tyres here, and stuff like that, oh, you kill them with a tyre, nice. Uh, yeah, a few ammo boxes, a few weapons. Yeah. So normally, you'd be coming from here and you'd be having a firefight that'll be shooting you, and the idea is a straight bullet, you know, hits that. And it catches on fire at first, it builds up, and then it explodes, sends the car flying, and the roof collapses, and yeah, nice big fire. Obviously, the car always lands in slightly different positions, it's got a lot of smoke stuck in it. And there's another little physics explosion set to blow this door in so you can get into the next room. Okay, um, so you get into this room, and as you can see, this um, security monitor is up here, looking at the next objective, because obviously the idea is to make your way to Asda, but at the moment, Asda is blocked by a force field, which obviously all Asda's have, very realistic, and so you've got to find a way of getting in there. And the most obvious thing is you know, using these panels. Um, not quite sure, ah yeah, there's, there's normally three guards in here, but because I've got no target on, I've never woke up the other soldiers, they haven't woken up, so they won't be here. Um, but normally there'd be three guards here, you know, been woken up by those guys, and uh, they'd be working away at these consoles, so that kind of acts as a little clue, you've got to do something in here. And the monitors give it away as well, but at the moment, nothing works, you know, the lights flashing, there's no power, so you've got a little backup generator here. It's your second physics objective, obviously, and it uses a rope. And you fire that in there and it creates a connection, brings the screen on and then you can walk up, use this and it says and they uh, yes there we go, that's why I can't walk up to it <laughs> they're still there, they just haven't been woken up um, yeah so you walk up to it, use the screen, use that probably and it, as you can see it's turned off the force field so yeah uh, and then you can make your way towards Asda. Just fly over here, it's a little bit quicker. And we've got some nice sliding doors, remind you, you got to remember to pick up the milk, of course, it's the overall goal of the level. Okay, so, you know, there's a few guards standing around, they'd normally all be shooting you by now, you can pick up, throw watermelons, you know, as usual. Let's go kill one of these guys with a little melon. Uh, some imported tables and chairs, you know, a little seating area for all the customers. Uh, so yeah, physics. A uh, whole load of custom textures on the shelves. Um, yeah, so obviously you can make your way through Asda. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously the main idea would be to go through this door at first because it's right in front of you. So that would be where most people think they've got to go, but you can't get in there yet. So, uh, a warm up a warm towards the front. Yeah, a uh, load more shells, with some boxes blocking off that, because unfortunately somebody's been murdered. Good to be them. Uh, yeah, here we go, some more shells, uh, loads of custom textures. And here's the milk, so obviously you have to go up the milk, there you go. And it tells you, now you've got to escape with it. So that's one of the other objectives done. Objective 3, I believe. For blowing up the petrol station and disabling the force field. 
So, yep, now we can get in here. And no problem for more combine. Obviously, they're not going to shoot me because no targets on. I've uh, got a few more health and shield regenerators here. Stick free. And uh, unfortunately, after he's got your wiring, you can no longer get out. So you're stuck in here and you can find another way out. Uh, these models here, uh, there's four different kinds, are actually imported from CSS. They're not half like two models and they're not custom. They're, um, had to grab them from CSS using GCFscape, uh, decompile them with the Canon Fodder's MDL decompiler and put them back into, I gave you the SMDs and the QC file and you put that back into GUI Studio MDL and uh, re-import them into Half-Life 2 and obviously I did that and thought yeah it all works, they were nice and purple and black and forgot that you have to go and grab the textures for them as well so position the load of them gives a really nice storeroom effect okay so you get around here and uh, this is my physics weapon it's a nice little girder just dangling from some ropes in Asda obviously this guy thought he could get a little bit of cover behind it but he wasn't counting on you having a gravity gun and smacking it into his face and sending him flying so I have to play around with this all day yeah, it's just hanging a couple of ropes, length constraints, all the norm so yeah you carry on down here uh, just kill these guys real quick okay and uh, as you can see illuminated at the far end is your way out so you can head down here and there's a nice little scripted sequence coming up this guy as you can see kicks open the door obviously I know he was coming so I shot him straight away but it's just set up as you walk through here there's a little trigger enables a scripted sequence sets him to uh, just kick open that door you know opens inwards he'll start shooting at you normally so as you can see it's, you're all blocked in so the only choice you've really got is to go up these stairs and uh, gets you up onto the roof of Asda so you have a few little generators up here of air conditioning and stuff that Asda would have and uh, yeah now you can uh, go up this ladder and that triggers off the next objective which is this airship dropship sorry and uh, as you can see he's flying in he's bringing some more reinforcements you've got a little helicopter there waiting that's your escape route but you can't use that yet so uh, we'll just fly down here and see what he's doing this is done from um, again it's a scripted sequence so he'll fly in, land set to drop off five combine they'll all arrange around there somewhere and uh, they get ready as though you know they were going to rush into Asda and come up and pin you in from behind so rather than you know waiting for them to come up you find another way to uh, kill these guys and this is where the final physics objectives come in you've got a nice big Asda sign here and some explosive barrels so shoot one of them and uh, yeah as you can see it sends the Asda sign flying Sometimes it lands and falls over, sometimes it'll stay upright. Uh, it's gonna stay is it gonna yeah, it's gonna stay upright this time. And it is last time I filmed this, I think it took out those three guys, so it's always a little bit different as to who it does and who it doesn't kill. So add a little bit of randomness. You can uh, stand up here and finish off the rest of them with a rocket launcher if you really want. Uh, that's why you get that. And then once that's done that unlocks the helicopter and uh, you can get into that. Um, escape and uh, fly off and enjoy your milk and yeah, flying off into the sunset so it's all a worthy trip to Asda at the end of the day you managed to get your milk and kill a bunch of combine so that's pretty much it I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope this gives a little more insight into the level and how it works